Hey everybody, today I'm gonna try doing some Bloody Mary ramen. It just came to me. I really wanted a Bloody Mary and some soup and it just sounded like a good marriage. So you need your favorite pickled veggies, some Worcestershire, Tabasco, the uh, tomato bouillon, tomato sauce, lemon, celery, and any packet of ramen. We're not gonna use the um, flavor pack in there, just the new. Bring your water to a boil. And once it's boiling, throw the ramen. Okay, we got our water boiling, threw the ramen in. Now we're gonna add half of the can of tomato sauce. And then you're gonna add a tablespoon of the tomato bouillon. And then boil the noodles until they're soft. Start to get soft, you're gonna turn off your water and just let it sit for a couple minutes. And then once the ramen has cooled down and the noodles are all soaked in that juice, you take it out, put it in your favorite bowl. And this part is up to you. This is lemon juice put as much as you like i like a lot of tabasco tabasco sauce and then worcestershire sauce can't have a bloody mary without worcestershire sauce i'm learning how to say it okay give it a little stir it already smells like a bloody mary then you're going to top it with your little garnishes like that i love pickled okra i love it and then a couple limes that. there we go that's better i had to make a couple adjustments and then you can't have a bloody mary without your celery and that's it i hope you guys like it bloody mary ramen from this little brain of mine okay let's taste it real quick i just want to taste the juice oh it tastes like a bloody mary i feel like i'm just i should be drunk right now i hope you guys like it from me and the hoe over there to you, happy cooking and happy quarantining.